Now we got the kettle done, we can move on to the condenser coil. Pete and Roger have been gone a long time, but the clock is kind of ticking, and uh, if Pete and Roger don't get back pretty soon with that mash, all this will be for nothing. The mash gets separate. We, we separate the grains from the mash in a piece of equipment over here that's called a screw press. Mr. Pritchard's pretty intense about this whiskey business. And at that point, we take the liquid and we put it into our fermenters and we add our yeast and our yeast nutrients. I think he could go on all day about this, but we really got to get this mash and get out of here, otherwise this rocket thing may not happen. From there, we of course put our product in barrels where they go into the barrel warehouse for anywhere from three to five years. But I think making rocket fuel might be a little simpler. Yeah, I hope so. We, uh, we don't have three to five years to wait. Travis has got us on a short string. And just to kind of explain the chemistry a little bit, alcohol, you know. He is not getting the hint. Uh, how'd you 